ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Beautiful. Onion. Nice sesame seed. This is what we call ribbon pakodi. Even in the public school, girls used to wear this ribbon and we used to have fun pulling those ribbons and then again they will be tying these four ribbons. You got to make this uh, ginger, garlic and onion pakodi. You have to remove them at the right time so they come out so perfect. They are nice, crunchy and golden. Mm. Namaste, Salam Walaikum, Sasriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your wash of whatever.com. And today we're going to make another snack. My father demands and I have to make it. This one is very, very simple. This is what we call ribbon pakodi. Nowadays, I don't see little girls wearing these ribbons in the regular schools, but in villages they do. But when I was a kid, even in the public school, girls used to wear this ribbon and we used to have fun pulling those ribbons and then again they will be tying these four ribbons. This is called ribbon pakodi because this one goes through a small kind of a strip here and it comes a very thin strip. You can call it strip tease pakodi or whatever strips kind of pakodi, ribbon pakodi. To make this, no strip tease, okay? To make this pakodi, all you need to do is you need to take three cups of uh, rice flour and one cup of besan. You know, the chana flour atta, the besan. And in this, we're going to add, you know, a lot of other things. But first, you know, just let's add some salt to this. So now in this, we're going to add hing, some turmeric, add some sesame seeds and some jeera powder. This jeera crush it because through that small strip, these have to come out. And in this, we're going to add some ginger garlic paste and also some chili powder. Mix all of this. But now... We want to get that short crust type kind of method. Then you can add butter in this. In the local sweet shop where they make this ribbon pakodi, they don't add uh, butter or anything, but they add hot oil. Even in making mirchi bhajis and all that, I have some oil that is hot here. Just take one ladle full and then just add that sizzling hot oil into this. And now mix it. This is hot. You know, so be careful. Add water. Mix this into a nice soft dough. This has to be soft because it has to, you should be able to pipe it through that ribbon thing. Add water and always add little less. And even if you want a little more, you can always add. First, it is a little bit uh, crumble kind of thing. Add some more water and make this into a nice soft dough. Look at the dough. This should be like kind of a breaking. You don't need to knead too much. And uh, you know, make this into a lump and then you got to use a kind of press like this and through this the oil should not be too hot it should not be too less through this we're going to squeeze it and we're going to put the ribbon in this break them these ribbons you know i think i need to drop them from little closer and make them ribbon like and then fry them in a medium hot oil and they will come out nice and crunchy fry it on one side turn it to the other side and when they are done they will be absolutely good. They literally melt in your mouth, but they got a nice bite. And uh, the edges have to be kind of uh, crackling. That's when this will come out good. When, you know, do not fry it in a very hot oil, otherwise they will discolor. When they stop sizzling in the oil, just drain them out and you will get this nice, wonderful and crunchy. Same thing, now we'll start. I'll have to make a lot of them for my father. Let me go ahead and do this. And you also, now you got the recipe, just go ahead and make these ones. They keep getting better and better and uh, perfect. So now you have seen how to make this uh, ribbon pakodi. Let's go ahead and start making our onion pakodi also. And the onion pakodi is again a favorite of uh, mine and my father. Usually what my father does is he'll keep in a small box and he'll keep it in his bedroom hidden. Once upon a time, he used to keep that these drinks like that. But nowadays, he is only keeping these snacks. Let's go ahead and make my father's favorite onion pakodi. So now, you got to make this uh, ginger, garlic and onion pakodi. So for this, we are going to add a lot of ginger. You know, add one, one piece of ginger. Crush it nicely. Look at this. How wonderfully this is crushed. So we are going to add a lot of this ginger. When you eat these pakodas, you will get these ones and then you will thoroughly enjoy. Take garlic, put it in this and uh, crush this garlic. You know, garlic is also another favorite of mine. Usually, whenever you buy this uh, onion pakodi outside, 
usually the garlic they crush it with the skin but uh, for VVIPs no skin of uh, garlic also now garlic nicely crushed added here and in this green chilli this green chilli also kind of have to melt away in this so crush the green chilli and add to this in this add curry leaves we have all the masalas the curry leaf here we are going to add some more nicely crushed coriander seeds it's optional and fennel seeds you know some people love this uh, fennel also in this so look at all these uh, masalas you know whole masalas i'm adding in this uh, cumin seeds also little bit and here we add little bit of rice flour to the basin so that it gives a very nice crunchy effect also but it is not a must so in this we're going to add some turmeric i'm also going to add a little bit of garam masala powder so all the masalas everything is here so now we're going to mix the flours let all these masalas sit at the bottom here the chickpea flour and rice flour so i've taken around uh, four cups of uh, chickpea flour and half a cup of rice flour you can add almost uh, one cup of rice flour to this in this we're going to add salt mix all of this so in this add one or two teaspoons of oil and then just mix this like a short crust method look at this this whole of the things are mixed up in this now we are going to add the onions but we are not going to add the water yet so what we do is because these onions when they hit the salt in this some of the moisture will come and in this add these onions and now slowly mix along with this flour see i want my onion pakoda to be full of onions like this just add some water not too much just sprinkle the water and then just mix all of this the mixture is already all you need to do is take it and uh, drop it into small pieces you know do not add big big pieces and uh, this has to fall like little pieces that's when you know if you want you just dip your hands in the water and then this one will fall off easily we going to do another batch later this onion pakodi goes little beyond the golden color you need to get nice you know you have to remove them at the right time so they come out so perfect when you make this pakodi perfect and you will get shabashi from your father because this is all for my father and you know make this pakodi at home for your family and friends and they will thoroughly enjoy this is all ready the onion pakodi as well as the ribbon pakodi dear friends you know make these kind of snacks you know a lot of you been asking you know in fact i read the message where one guy was mentioning oh you're making only biryani and salad no every day morning we are making lot of vegetarian recipes in the evenings non vegetarian recipes but weekly once or twice biryani is a must because that's what we are born with here is my awesome onion and uh, ribbon pakodi and each one of them will be melting in your mouth with a nice crunch bite so let's take the bites look at this uh, nice ribbon pakodis they have come out excellent and uh, you know hmm it's got a nice bite but literally melt in your mouth hmm my father loves the sesame seeds and this one has that mild effect and it's beautiful but let's take some onion pakoda also they are nice crunchy and golden hmm and i'm telling you each one of them is beautiful Mm, nice ginger green chili all the masalas in it keep making this recipes for your family and eat best of the best food but always keep saying vareva and ding dong ding dong ding dong ding dong beautiful onion nice sesame seed onion my favorite is this